All right, we're live. Hey, Black Inspire family. It's your girl, Sharon Fletcher. And as promised, you are in for our, why, our live webinar. Yes, there is Michael Samuel and Mindset Mastery Mentor, Suzanne Hart, just as promised. So we're so, so, so excited. It's eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, but wherever you are, we hope you are comfortable. You have your favorite snack, a beverage, you're ready to take notes, just ready to take it all in. We, this is the beginning of our webinar series, Inspired to Win. Yes, we're all Inspired to Win, a business excellence series. So if you are not a business owner, but you're thinking about it, this is for you. Um, there will also be wonderful tips and valuable information uh, on mindset. So whether you want to start a business, you're not sure if that's what you want to do, you already have a business, there's something there for everyone. Right, Suzanne? Absolutely. We're gonna yeah. So good to see you, lovely lady. So we have Mindset Mastery Mentor, Suzanne Hart. Suzanne um, has a background in a plethora of things, but just to give you a little tidbit, Suzanne used to also professionally compete in bodybuilding. So there's some discipline, um, execution, um, uh, being focused and having a goal and meeting it and excelling. She also has a background in community services and counseling. And she is also a top performer in multi-level marketing. And she has been a multiple seven, sorry, six figure income earner, multiple six figure income earner guys. Um, that's no easy feat, and she has sustained that for several years. So we are tapping into a lot of fantastic experiences, background, and uh, we're just so happy to have you with us tonight, Suzanne. I'm so excited to be here. And you know what? I love when you introduce me because you always, you, you like first energy, and then you're always like seven figures. It always flips out of your mouth. I think you're speaking my future. Oh. <laughs> you're speaking it no. into well, just before we dive in, folks, I just want to go over a few housekeeping things. So if you want to be able to interact, um, you, you can do so by A, if you see the button uh, to raise your hand, or there's also the option in the Q&A section, you could enter in a question there and one of our people will get to that question and we'll be able to relay it to Suzanne. Um, the other thing as well is this is being recorded. Um, and it is being streamed to Facebook Live. So if you're a bit conscious of being recorded or videotaped, just be aware this is being recorded. Um, other than that, uh, I think we're ready to go and share and take it away. All right, all right. So guys, we have uh, Mindset Mastery Mentor, Suzanne Hart multiple six-figure income earner. Um, we're so happy to have you, Suzanne, and to kick off uh, this series with um, a peek into the a part of the first module, The Brand Called You. So tonight, we're going to be discussing The Brand Called You. So we're just going to let you get right into it, Suzanne. Tell us a bit about this brand called you. What exactly is our brand? You know, it's, it's interesting because I don't think that people often realize is that you, the person I'm looking at, Sharon, is actually the brand. So I want you to consider that um, you have just walked into a big boardroom or a networking event or um, just anywhere you go and you walk through the door. And of course, you're going to make eye contact with one or two people. They're going to make eye contact with you. There'll be people looking at you that you don't even know are looking at you. And in that moment, believe it or not, your brand speaks. Mm. Right? And they say we have seven seconds uh, for people, people to have a first opinion, a first impression. So in my mind, you know, my brand speaks through my, my posture, um, my confidence and my confidence is often what I believe about myself, my capabilities, even when I'm not talking, you know, energetically people sense you. Um, it is, it is my, my physical being, how I'm standing, how I carry myself. It is my stride. It's the way I, I walk. It's, it's all those things. It's the clothing, it's the full package. And oftentimes people think that it is, you know, it's my, you know, what I really need to work on is my logo. What I really need yeah. to my slogan, what I really need to work on is my products, my service, so on and so forth. 
But the reality is before someone actually wants to engage with you around your products and service, they want to engage with you. Mm. And it's those second sec- seven seconds. So, so there's, a, there's a physical part to the brand call you. There is a energetic part to the brand, brand call you. So I want you to consider, have you ever had somebody walk into a room? You don't know who they are, but they walk in and you go, hmm, who that? Yes. <laughs> You know, and you're, and you're, you're distracted by them. You don't know who they are. You've never spoken to them. You've never seen them before, but you're like, who is that? You just stop the conversation. All of a sudden you kind of go, hmm. Right. You can feel them. And, and we, you know, for men, we call it charisma. They're charming, you know, uh, women, right. right. They're striking. And that's the energetics of your brand. And we don't take into account that the, there's energetics to us. There's energy to us. Right. And, uh, and we can feel people as they walk. We can feel their confidence. We can feel their energy. Who they're being in the world speaks before they open their mouth. So, so we've got a physical presence. We've got the energy. And then we also have um, the, the, the way we interact, right? Mm. And the way you interact with people. And I can often get a lot of, uh, I can get a feel for someone by how they talk to me, right? I can get a feel, have you talked to someone and they, and you can feel their lack of security, you can feel their lack of certainty, it's in their voice. Yes, right? they almost sound like they're asking you a question when it should sound like a statement. Right, or, right. or they're quiet and unsure in their, in their communication with you, right? Um, you know, oftentimes, you know, okay, so I'm from the islands and my mother tell me when, when I'm gonna leave the house, I talk a certain way, right? So when I leave my house, I have perfect English, right? Right. And people are like, you know, when Americans get me on the phone, they're like, where are you from? And, and I have to say, yes, I'm a sister. I'm a Canadian sister. And the professional woman sounds like this. And, and when I'm home, I sound, I sound a little different. And that sounds silly. It sounds a little ridiculous, but it gets me in places. It at, opens doors. It gives, the people have a perception of, my level of knowledge, education, and so on, just by my, how the, my handle on the, the, the English language, how I string my sentence together, all those different things. And, and you, you might say that's right, that's wrong, right? Um, but I know when we came to Canada and um, they found out that I was from Trinidad, which they at that time thought was a third world country, um, right. you know? And, and there was a lot of, of weight placed on me, my sister and I having a dialect that was different. My sister and I having coming from a third world country, so to say. And so I was held back. So I wasn't allowed to go to school for the first, first year. And my sister was held back to grades based on that perception, skin color, that, so we said, we're going to be real, right? So all Mm -hmm. those those things. And so my mother had a, had a, a a demand that we spoke, we spoke great. We spoke good English. I didn't care what we did at home. So we do all sorts of home stuff when we're, we're at home. But when right. we went into the business world, when we went into the working world, um, I have a command of the English language that's probably second to none for many, for many, many people. And, and, but that makes up my brand and it gives me access. Now I'm not into right or wrong. I'm into movement. Mm. Right. Okay. Right. Cause I was going to say, does your so the way you dress the confidence in your brand and all of that needs to be consistent with your products and services so if you know if i um have something a little bit more laid back like maybe i'm just making t-shirts do i have to speak properly do i still have to conduct myself a certain way it, you know what it, it is you know it's interesting because i i switch out of dialect i change dialects depending on where i go right okay. And so when I'm in the South, I do a lot of stuff in the South. Uh, I, I, I can use y'all and a few different things, right? And it gets me, con- and, I, and I connect. But fundamentally, um, there is a gr- grammar, there's a way that I conduct myself that's consistent with my brand, right? And that has my brand stand out. And, and there's part of it that is what is unique about who you are in the world and how you carry yourself and how you speak, how you dress, how you, whatever that creates this brand. And are you comfortable in it? Are you comfortable in your skin, right? Um, if, I, if you had a brand that was in, in the music industry or something, 
grammar and language may not be the same as, as, as where, where I am, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a speaker. I, 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 I train. I, 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 do, I do certain things. So how I conduct myself is very much, my language has to fit my brand, right? Okay. So, there's, so there's, there's, some, there's some give and take around that. But at the end of the day, I know that I have people that are, when, I, when they open their mouths, they may be brilliant, but because of how they string their sentence together, how they carry themselves, I know they've already lost their sale. Hmm. So this costs your brand, your business money. Right. So, and, and so it isn't real. And I'm not talking about perfect grammar. I'm talking about articulation, right? I'm not talking about accent. I'm talking about articulation, right? Um, I, you know, I can have, I can, I could probably, you know, if we look at all the dialects throughout the Caribbean and all the, and all the dialects through the diaspora of, of Africa, our home, homeland, and we look at all those things, each one of those come to come with an accent. If you look at Haitian, they come with an accent. We all come with our accents and you can, and you can hear the, the, the residue of where we come from in our voice, mm -hmm. right? There's a distinction between that and being able to articulate yourself. Okay. And, and I'm not talking necessarily about great grammar per se. I'm talking about you being able to articulate your ideas, being able to put together your thoughts around your product and service, um, being able to put together your unique your selling proposition. It is, it is in all those things and how, what kind of energy, what kind of confidence do you do it with? That is you, right? And, and it is the way to which you connect with people. So when I'm talking about this brand call you, are you, are you someone who, who creates relationships, right? So I'll, 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 so I'll tell you a, a little formula that I, that I, that I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll let this go tonight. It's called the success formula, right? Ooh, okay. And, um, Sorry, and Susan, I just wanted to maybe recap a little something for those. Um, yeah. just, there's some key things you mentioned that your brand, you know, right or wrong, we may not like it that people perceive us a certain way in how we look, but um, energetically, we got to, Make sure that we have confidence in our product, our service, in ourselves. And it doesn't matter how perfect you speak English per se, but it matters that you're able to clearly communicate what you have to offer. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to make sure we, we captured that. Mike, is anyone asking questions or having any comments for us? Yeah, there's um, the only question um, that's come about is for those people out there, who would say even like myself who might be more on the side of introvert um how does this brand about you like is this something that could be taught to us do you necessarily have to be an extrovert to be able to manage this and to be able to be successful in this can you elaborate a little bit on that now you know it's a great question mike mike and um I remember one of my coaches, when she first met me, she looked at me and she said, oh, you're an introvert posing as an extrovert. And I was like, damn, she figured me <laughs> out. Oh, <laughs> right. And, and, and so most people, when they see me, um, they would say that Suzanne is, is a total extrovert. She likes people, whatever. I'm kind of the combination of the two. I'm on when I'm on and I'm off when I'm off, right? And I like my time and I and there's times where I'm like, don't talk to me. I don't talk to anybody, right? But the thing is, it's almost when you say lights, camera, action, and when I'm talking my business, lights, camera, action, it comes on, right? Because that is my public personality. Right, that is who I am, and I'm not a different person. It's the energy to which I bring to it. It is the posture to which I bring to it. It is all those things. So for me, um, as as we go through the series, you'll hear people to hear me talk about managing energy. Right, it doesn't matter whether I'm feeling sociable or not on the day that I got to go do what I have to do. Like this, I'm sociable. Right. And so it's training my mind to have my body fit. You know, sometimes I may have to create a state change, state change intentionally to line up with the brand I want the world to know. Because sometimes Suzanne, Suzanne don't feel like showing up. Sometimes I'm tired. Sometimes I really don't feel like doing a call. Sometimes I don't really feel like being in front of the camera. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. That's a luxury. 
I don't have. And anyone who's in business doesn't really have. So what, you, what you're saying is, yeah, someone may be extrovert. And, and, and it is not to change your personality. It's to find your energy in your personality, to find your strength in your personality, to find your, um, your, your certainty, if you will, in, your, in whatever that personality is. And to really to begin to say, how do I want, when my brand walks through the door, how do I want it to be known? What do I want to be have associated with my with my name, right? And and so I'm, I'm I'll take it a little further. Do I want someone that there's a whole bunch of habits around a, a brand? There's a whole bunch of values around a brand, you know. So so do I want to be someone to be known as as someone who has a brand that's punctual and on time, right? Do I want I do I want my brand to be known as a brand that hits deadlines? Do I want um, my brand to be a brand that um, chases money or builds relationships, okay. right? Do I want my brand to be known as a brand that gives extra service? Do I want my brand to be known as a brand that is that is positive and smiling and energetic? Do I want my brand to be known as a brand that's positive and uplifting? Do I want my brand to be known as a brand of contribution? Do I want my brand to be known as a brand that gives to community? Do I want my brand to be known as a brand that has a consciousness, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of black people and people of color. All those things are things that stem from my values, that stem from my habits, that stem from who I am. And we don't necessarily uh, attach them to how we're, our, our, um, our company is seen how our business is seen, how we are seen as business people. And I will say to you that that's the first thing that people purchase. Do I like you? Do I trust you? Do I believe in you? Do you have a conscience? Are you consistent? Can I rely on you? If I give you my money, is it a sure thing? Is it a gamble? Those pieces will define repeat customers, will define repeat bookings, will will define word of mouth, will define referrals, will define all those things. And, and notice I'm not talking about my product right now. I'm not talking about what I do. I'm talking about who I am. Mm. All right. So we had another question that came in and I'll read this out to you and you see if you could help this individual out. Um, so I, 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 just to keep people anonymous, I won't, uh, unless you specify in your question, I won't actually mention your name so I'll just read it out um, so I've been told that I may seem too intelligent for people to relate to me it could be intimidating especially dealing with prospects that may not have the same educational background example reaching out to prospects of lower income levels to provide services focused on their needs mm. how do I manage my brand so I could relate to all prospects Mm, okay. So there's, so there's, there's two pieces to this and, and I'll, I'll go into my past life for a moment. Um, cause it's a great example. So in my past, in my past, I used to manage a women's shelter, right? And we had a 21 bed crisis shelter and I managed the team that worked there. So when I first came in the door and, and of course, and, and the, the more often than not, the women who use shelters are of low socioeconomic status. And so as, um, as a, when I used to work there, I'd watch the staff walk in and I'd be like, and my, my joke would be, did y'all get dressed in the dark? It's like, seriously, <laughs> right? Because that's how they look. They didn't look put together. And they would say to me, I'm trying to, they would say, well, we're trying to relate to our client. And I'd say, but I'm trying to give our client hope. And I want them to see us, us as pillars of strength. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, so please come into this space with a respectful look for your clientele. So how I dress and whatever is a respectful way of dressing, right? Mm -hmm. this, this is a distinction. If I, am, if I am meeting someone who I know may not be as educated as me, may not be as, as uh, higher as, I, I don't wanna use higher function, but I'm gonna use that just to distinguish, right? Um, I'm going to match, I'm going to match language with language, okay. right? I'm, I'm going to match my language with their language. I'm going to, I'm going to use language that, um, that 
they understand. So for example, I had a gardener and when she would talk to me, she'd always use words that were like off the screen big. You can't even see where my hands are. When, right. she, when she would talk about a flower and I'd look at her and go, is that the red one? <laughs> right? <laughs> and she goes, yeah, that's the red one. I say, well, why don't you just tell me it's the red one? Mm-hmm. Right? Because, and this is, and this is where I, I really want people to get it. In a sales process, if a prospect feels left behind by our language, or we use language that they don't understand, they're doing two things. They're either withdrawing out of the process or they're, they're translating. Either way, they're no longer in the process because we've left them, mm-hmm. right? So for me, um, I have an ability to, if someone's language is simple, I can go simple. If someone's language is big, I can go bigger. I can't, for some people, I can't go as big as them, but I can posture them, right? So, so really it is that I believe I meet people where they're at because at the end of the day, my language is my relatedness. My service is my service. So my service could be up here, but I'm going to find ways to bridge so that they understand it. I, I am told that I'm very good at making complex um, concepts seem simple. Right. So I can take a concept here and I can break it down so a person who's not that clear can get it here so they can still feel empowered. So I think part of what's being asked is how do you how do you become how does your brand you become relatable and you can actually flow linguistically. You can flow in terms of your speed, your pacing, personality to personality. Um, so that the person always stays engaged, right? That's why people study personality types. That's why people study all those different things. That is, and, and those are the subtleties of the brand called you. Are you relatable, right? Are you able to meet people where they're at? Um, are you able to, you know, I, you'll see me talk to some people and I'll speed up my language because that's the pace they talk at. And so when I'm with Sharon, it's like, whoa, it's fireworks, right? Because you're- <laughs> yes. A little bit pace, more pacing. When I talk to Michael, my pacing slows down because he's a little slower pacing, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pace you, right? Because I'm just mirroring the person I'm with, and that creates a little relatedness. And I, and I'm just, I'm so accustomed to doing it now that I, that I, I'll do it. Um, and th- and I'm only gonna pace up to a certain pace because that's not my personality. But I will range because my number one thing is how do I actually create connectedness with someone. So that I have a brand that's that's engaging, that I have a brand that's connected. So I hope that answers. That's awesome. I just want to say quickly, uh, um, something popped up where someone said how this is awesome. So people are finding value in this, Suzanne. And I'm really happy that we're able to give the Blacks Inspire family and even those who aren't parts of Blacks Inspire because you needed to RSVP on Eventbrite. When you RSVP on Eventbrite, you get to interact and ask your questions. So yes, people are finding value. And I also want to just recap real quickly that if I hear you correctly, what you're saying is your brand isn't your logo and it's not necessarily your product and service. We're getting caught up in you know having a right look and feel, having it look flashy. Our brand is, your brand is you, is what you're saying. Absolutely. And it's not to say I have, I have a wonderful logo. We spent loads of time on it. I have like two beautiful logos. I'm very proud of it. We have our taglines. We have our slogans. We have all those things because they are, they do have value. And I think people invest here. They don't invest here. Mm. Right. But what I realize is people buy here, then they buy over here. Right. So my 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 mentor, Mr. George C. Frazier, my boy, my <laughs> mentor, right? right? Mr. George, he says that people will do business with you when there's a click. Right. And the and the first thing he says is you must be the right person. Right. So you must click personality. So when Sharon and I, you when we got on the phone, there was an instant click. Yes, there was. Right? Um, and so there was a click. And then it must be the right time. So I'm, I'm doing this partnership with Black Inspired because it was the right time for all three of us, right? Mm-hmm. And then it must be the right thing. We all have a passion to earn, learn, and return to our community and to give back. So those three things create that click where we say yes. Now, we never talked about what, what product it was. That all happened first. I like you. I trust you. 
I believe you, there's a click. And once that click happened and we bought each other, right? That's true. We met, I met Sharon. She said, you got to meet Michael. I said, okay. Right now I might've met Michael and said, I don't know about that dude. Right. <laughs> or, right? right. Or I would have met and said, yeah, he's cool. That's a click. And when that click happens, then we go, okay, well, what are we going to do together? That's the di- difference. We bought each other first. Yes, we did. Right? And, and, and so what I'm really talking about is, is that whole process is everything. It is your smile. It is your eye contact. It is your punctuality. It is your willing to give more. It is your willing to, it's all those things that make up this brand called you. So part of what we're going to do on the first webinar is really begin to break down some of the things that I've had to work on, right? That, that has me um, step into a brand that that is now kind of people notice it and they go, oh, that's Suzanne. You know, like even when I asked you, I said, what's the four areas of my brand? You went boom, 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 boom. You, you yes. rattled them off. I was like, damn, it's working, right? Um, so, so, so there's, and, and, and so there's total alignment with who I am and what I do, right? Um, I, I am physically fit because I'm in a wellness brand, right? That's a connection. Um, I think everybody's in a wellness brand because wellness is what walks through the door when mm-hmm. people see you. So that's that's just the way I look at it. I think everybody's in an energy brand because energetics walks through the door and people buy our energy, right? So I think it's just really look, beginning to look at that. So we're going to break it down um, in the module and give people this. Are you looking at this? Are you looking at this? Are you looking at this? And we're going to talk through some of them. So I'm excited to do to do that. So, so one of the questions that just recently came in, um, someone is asking, how do you know what to focus on in building a brand? And I'll also tie that to um, a follow-up question, which is, is everyone knows that we're looking to do future webinars. So this particular one on brand, who is it for? Ah, you know what? This one I think is for everybody. I really do. And, and this is the reason why. Um, I, when I was raising children, my children, right, I soon realized that they did what I did. They didn't do, they didn't care what I said. Yes. Right. I could see that as a mom too. Yes. Right. They do what I do. And they look at me and say, just lips moving. Don't care. Right. And, and, and what I, what I say had power when they saw me do it. Okay. Um, so really the brand of mom or the brand of dad has to line up with your, your thoughts have to line up with your words and your words have to line up with your action. So mom, dad, uh, business owner, um, you know, entrepreneur, executive, what I'm really talking about is are we conscious of what, of, of what we're putting into the world as, uh, as people? right? And then as professionals, and then as experts, and then as someone who wants to be distinct in a sea of other experts, are we conscious of that? So I think this particular call is for everyone, because what we're going to talk about is an awareness of who you are and how you show up in the world, whether, you sh- whether we're talking about how you show up as a parent, how you show up as a, a husband or wife, how you show up as the executive of your, of your own company, how you show up as the manager at a job, how do you show up? Because powerful brands get, are, have movement. They, they can't help but have success because success, the, the really what we're really talking about is who you are must expand before your success expands. So I personally must expand my brand before my money will expand right? I must expand my mindset before my money expands. I must expand my habits and my mastery before my money expands. I must expand my consciousness, my awareness, my, 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 you know, the knowledge base that I have before, before all of it expands. So really this is for anyone who is really wants to be present to how people see them and to really get clear on what they're putting out in the world. So I, so for me, when someone says my name, 
I want it to, I want them to think of certain things. Fun, fit, fab, fulfilled life. Absolutely. So, so based on that then, because it sounded like as if somebody could potentially have more than one brand, if you're saying husband, father, business owner. So um, diving back into, and she gave me to mention her name. So it's, um, and, and please forgive me if I'm not pronouncing this correctly, but Shanique, is oh, Shanique the name? Exactly. Um, she basically wanted to know is, again, is what to focus on, on building a brand? What should they focus uh, on? Well, this is, this, is a, this is really interesting. And Michael, there's a, uh, let's make a distinction. So I have roles, right? So I might be mother, wife, um, sister. I, I'm the owner of my own company. Um, so I have all these roles. Okay. Okay. And then I have a brand. My brand, my roles, no matter what role I'm in, my brand is consistent. This is juicy. This is very important. This is key. So repeat that again. No matter what roles you have, your brand is consistent. Okay. Consistent. My, my brand is based on my values and beliefs. Boom. Mm -hmm. Brand of Suzanne is based on my values and my beliefs. My roles are the different positions I the different roles I embody as I as I as I step in front of different people right but um so so my brand of health and fitness crosses every single role I, I I'm in it doesn't shift my brand of lifestyle crosses every single role I'm in my brand of contribution every single role I, I'm in um, punctuality and integrity. I am my word, every single role I'm in. See, your brand is, is. <laughs> so your brand is, is, is a reflection of what you value and your values and your, your, that's the brand of you, right? So we're not talking your company and the logos and all that stuff. I'm talking about the brand of you is a reflection of your values, beliefs, guiding principles, your roles are the things, the, the different places you sit in your life, mom, wife, employee. And, and see, for me, what grounds me and what keeps me consistent is those values, those guiding principles, those beliefs, those ways to which I enter the world um, consistently and persistently. And they are actually what I check when something's not going right. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk through that. Like when we break it down and we talk about values, beliefs, guiding principles, flagship. Okay, so you know what? The time has flown by. This is just like what it's like when you and I spend time together, Susan. You know, you guys got a taste of this. This is, this is the amazingness I get to have. And like I say, every good thing we have, Michael and I, Blacks Inspire, we, we want to share with you. And so we're really excited about this series. It's Inspired to Win, a business excellence series. This is for the entrepreneur who's committed to excellence. And this very first module, you got a snippet of it, is the brand called you. And so there is a continuation of this, correct, Suzanne? Absolutely. You can build tap into this at a deeper level and um, even more fully developed with the, the PowerPoint presentation, et cetera. Some of you guys were shy tonight, but if you had raised your hand and you were on video, you could actually have been seen in video and asked, you know, just the way that I'm speaking and Michael speaking, just talk to Suzanne. That was the beauty of this webinar, guys. That's what makes this different than any other is that you could interact with her the way that I'm talking. Um, you were able to type in your questions. And then of course, just listen in. If you, you know, you got to cook dinner. Sometimes you got to multitask. We love you to be present, but we know you have other things that you got to do. You're able to have an experiential experience. Was that it, uh, Suzanne? I, yeah, that's absolutely. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to break this whole conversation down into different compartments. And we're going to give everybody um, things that they can actually begin to do right away to begin to create that, to begin to transform um, who they see themselves as in, in the world and to step into a, a, a powerful place. And, and, I, it's, and it's to say that every, I think as, as black people, we are, we, are, we are so powerful. I don't think we tap, I don't think we tap into it, right? Um, and so, we're, so, so it's really about helping us become, have a mastery of the emotion and energetics that we, that we so beautifully have, right? 
I think the other part in, in this for me and why I'm so passionate about this is that I truly believe that entrepreneurship is the way of the future. And I think as black men and women, we are gifted, we are talented, we have a lot to bring to the table. And sometimes what stands in our way is us, the brand, right? The who we are in the world, the how we show up in the world. And, and, and we have a history that, that sometimes frames how we show up and we're not actually aware of it, right? Um, I, I believe that there's internalized racism. I think there's institutional racism. There's all those pieces. And, and when you have lived in that environment for as long as we have, it impacts the, the who we are and the how we show up. I think what I, what I, one of my number one goals is to bring that to a consciousness, to bring that out in a conversation so that we can actually begin to say, you know what? I, I design where I go. I design how I show up. That's my design. I get to consciously choose that. And, and, and so there's no limits to where I can go or what I can become or what I can do because I'm gonna have mastery over me. So when I say I'm a personal mastery mentor, I truly believe that my success is determined by yes, some, a knowledge base, but most important by how I manage the conversations I have with me because the conversations I have with me determine the conversations I have with you. It determines how I walk through a door. It determines how I do my presentation. It determines how I ask for the sale. It determines everything. It determines everything. So my work, what I love to do is for us to begin to some self-reflection and some self-examination and to go in and find that brilliance and pull it out. It's in all of us. We are gifted beyond belief. And I know that because every time I go through a process, I find a deeper level of my own gifts and I find a new level of accountability for myself and capability. And accountability is just to account for one's abilities, right? Mm -hmm. and, and, and not to let ourselves off the hook. And I think oftentimes it's easy to let yourself off the hook because living a big game, living a big game is a, is a huge responsibility, but it's way fun. Way fun. Wait, can you repeat that definition of accountability again, Suzanne? Repeat that. It's to account for one's ability. Account for one's ability. Right. Mm -hmm. We all have it, right? And it's and it's it is to really know your greatness and to and to really be committed to to giving it to the world, giving it to community and accounting for it and not allowing yourself to dismiss your ability, your greatness, because it's easier to do that. Mm -hmm. Right. It's a whole new thing to hold yourself to a level where you say, I'm capable of this and I'm going to I'm going to blow the doors off this. So we're going to blow the doors off. We're going to blow the doors yes, off this. It, right. so My amazing. posture just changes when I, you know, like, I don't know if you guys are getting what I'm getting, but my posture just changes when I listen to Suzanne. I'm like, I'm ready. Let's blow the door off this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go get it. Yes. So, um, guys, you know what? We've had all this time. Let's see. Oh, a lot to think about um, from Shan. I think Lucianne said, this is awesome. We're getting fantastic feedback. Um, I wasn't able to see within the Facebook um, group as well, because this is being streamed live into Facebook. But we'll see if there are some comments there that we can also address at a later time. But you guys, if you want this, you want this, the brand called you. This is just the tip of the iceberg to get you powered up, get your mind right, get you ready to really understand what your business is. It's you. And once you got that sorted out, there's, 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 there's no stopping. Suzanne, are you giving the folks anything tonight? Um, I think there was, I think you were giving them a gift. This is a gift in itself, but I think, so, talk so about first, that. first of all, share with everybody, Sharon, how they can get registered how they can participate and then I will drop I will talk about the gift okay guys so similar to this free session you get in on Eventbrite you have to register on Eventbrite you know um for the next module which is going to be happening on Wednesday October 4th 8 30 eastern standard time so blacks inspire family the beauty of this is what we all thought about is how we can maximize the reach so that you guys could all optimize so no matter where you are whether you're in the caribbean whether you're in the united states whether you're in the uk whether you're here in canada with us you just adjust to the time zone 8 30 eastern standard uh time you figure out what that is for you you have um a week i think oh. a week from now to be able to Get in on Eventbrite, 
register for this and start the series with us, this business excellence series with us. We're all inspired to win. And this and is just, for everybody. This is for everybody. It will be, from, it will be from 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Oh, sorry. Eastern savings time. Um, again, as Sharon mentioned, register through Eventbrite. You could see the link will be on Facebook within Blacks Inspire, and we're going to be sending it out everywhere. So for those of you on this call, you'll get an email blast. And for whatever reason, if it goes into your spam folder or whatnot, check to Blacks Inspire group or go to the Blacks Inspire page and you'll find the event bright link there. That's right. Um, there was also something else. Um, you can get it through, even, oh, now this um, being streamed into Facebook it, it is unique to this. Going forward, this is exclusive only for those who register on Eventbrite. This will not be shown again. So mm -hmm. if you want to participate in this series, you got to register on Eventbrite and you get this exclusive um, online classroom experience with the Mindset Mastery Mentor, Suzanne Hart. Right. So, so I, uh, the, the price is, nine, is 97 right? Yes. So 97 dollars and early bird which is uh, you guys can decide how early how long early bird goes for i'll leave that up to you guys saturday saturday at 8 30 p.m okay you know that's why we get about 48 hours that's why we have michael he does that, that's him he's like that's, that's what right. we want to do right. Right. Don't believe it or not you're getting all sharp, of this and, and this is just cut. a taste oh sorry you're getting all of this and this was just a taste and can you believe you're going to get this for $97 and we're even going to give it to you at an early bird rate of $77. Come on, people. You know, okay. we're, we're just practically giving this away. Um, but this, this is amazing. This is going to take you take all of us to the next level. Right. First person who registers, we'll give them, uh, I'll, I'll send them out one of my books. All right. right. Get one of my books. Um, and then all anyone who participates in the early bird session, um, we will do a draw out of those names for a book and 30 minutes with me one-on-one. -on -one. Woo! Yeah. What? 30 minutes one-on-one -on -one with you, Suzanne? Mm -hmm. That lucky person. All right, you guys. So there you go. Don't, don't hesitate. You know, we... I hate to say this, but sometimes we like to wait till the last minute on things, but there's your incentive. You don't want to do that. You definitely want to make sure you capture and get in on this early bird deal. Yes. And, the, and, and, um, and so, yeah. Shan asked where to register. It's on Eventbrite and we're going to have the link in Blacks Inspire. So if you're not already a member of our Facebook group, Blacks Inspire, you need to become a member because that's how you get the link to the Eventbrite. And Michael's going to send out an email blast. And then of course you can share that with friends and family and people you know that would value and benefit from this awesome, awesome series that we've pulled together to prepare just for you. Yay, Shan, she's just joined. Wonderful, welcome. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Suzanne, because we're going to be wrapping it up, guys. We went a little overtime for you. We, we're always giving. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm like, look at this. So there, so I just actually, sorry, I just posted, uh, so you guys get first crack. Those people who have not actually attended this live event, um, you guys get the bonus. Um, so I put it in the chat panel. So that's the link to the Eventbrite. So if any of you are on this webinar right now, you guys get first chance at that. So the link is posted. And wonderful. Shan, I, my, Shannon is saying Facebook uh, is uh, she's got I love, love, love this training. I want more. All right. Well, you know where you can get more folks. All right. So Yes, you definitely you got to come to Blacks Inspire. You got to get on that Eventbrite. And um, we'll be here waiting to see you. So each month, the first Wednesday of each month, we're going to have a session available for you. $97. I think this, this first one for um, the brand called you will have an early bird special. We'll see if we'll have an early bird special this every month, but definitely this month. And, and the thing is, with every module, we are going to give homework. Um, because remember, I'm all about experience. I'm all about pulling it into, into your world. So, so we will give you actionable things that you'll do 
Um, we will we'll, we'll make sure that people can communicate a little bit. Um, it is we're going to make sure that this is worth your while because you know as as George George says George says you earn you learn and you return, mm-hmm. right? And so my 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 goal and my trust is that everybody who takes this this program and walks with us and does each model is that they're going to go into to their community, their business, and they're going to earn, learn, and return. And they're going to, and they're going to share the love um, so that other people who are in the process of growing um, get, get this information, get the knowledge and the wisdom. And I'm always growing and I, I'm a product of loads of people pouring into me. I'm a product of, of totally investing in myself. I know, Sharon, one of the things that you asked me was, you know, like, what's investment? And, and um, you know, when I, I remember the first time I saw T. Harv Eker, he said 10% of income um, should go back to investing in yourself and pouring back into yourself because you must grow if you want things to grow. So, you know, so, you know, having earned over a million in, in, in my business life and plus and approaching in my second million, um, you know, 10% is 100,000 plus, right? But, you know, when you think of, of that in that, the return on that investment, it's mind blowing, right? So, so it really is that, you know, we're making this really available because we want everybody to win and we want everybody to start here somewhere. And I started with like these, these offers where someone was just you know willing to give an offering uh at an affordable price and i was like i'm there pouring into me pouring into me getting that return on investment so exciting exciting and michael and i have invested too and you know that's kind of how we even got to to find you and we went to um amazing you know the the pnc power networking conference that was an investment that was learning that was networking you know um I've done a lot of personal growth and, and investment. Michael and I have poured into Blacks Inspire. You've got to pour into yourself in order to grow. You've got to spend money to make money, right, Suzanne? That's just the bottom line. And if we discipline ourselves, and you're going to go into that even more so in the module, so I'm not even going to give it away, you will show some of us who are just starting, some of us small businesses, with the, with the little that we have, how can we invest and still do what's necessary to take our businesses, take ourselves and our personal growth and our health, everything to the next level. Okay, guys, you know what? I'm sorry. I know this is how it feels. It's like, it feels like 10 minutes, but it's really been a lot more than that. This was supposed to be 30 minutes and we're here um, over. So yes, Suzanne will be giving you lots of wonderful things. Um, she's, you can get 30 minutes with her if you, um, are an early bird. Um, if you sign up, go to Eventbrite, get it through Blacks Inspire. If you're not already a Blacks Inspire member, you need to join because this is where you want to be. Blacks Inspire is going to have all the tools and valuable information, subject matter experts like mine, set mastery mentor, Suzanne Hart. That's just a taste of what we have to give you. Um, we're excited. We're juiced up. Let's go get it. Let's go get it, guys. So thank you all for clarify. joining. I just want to clarify with you, Susan. Suzanne, because I know there's some people out there who think, well, I'm not just starting out in business. I've had a business for quite some time, but correct me if I'm wrong. This is definitely something that even the veteran needs to take a look at because I I believe there are people out there who may have been in business five, 10 years and their brand might be all over the place. So is, is that correct? Am I correct in saying that? Absolutely. And I'll, I'll give you an example. I was just at a training and I sat down at a table with another coach and, uh, and he was doing some mindset work. And, and when he was done, I said, you just kicked my ass. <laughs> and, I was like, and I was like, and I said to him, I guess I came here to meet you. Right. And I, and I pulled out my credit card and I said, here you go. <laughs> Let's just get me registered. Um, because there's a different level of everything. And sometimes it's hearing something different. And sometimes it's a refresh. And, and yeah, he, he was, I was like, okay, I've been told, here's my card. I'll see you in, I'll see you in January. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, so it, you know, it, it is no matter what level of business you, you're in, um, I think if, if you're not where you want to be and I'm not where I desire to be, I'm always, it's, it's evolving. Right. So it really is around, um, how do you, what different ways are you pouring into yourself? Uh, you know, I read two books every month. 
um, I'm, it's, it's always the poor. It's the poor because great things in, great things out. Mm. New knowledge in, new knowledge out. New mastery in, new mastery out. And sometimes it's keeping things top of mind, right? Um, I'm doing a program right now online and, and it's not that I don't know the stuff. It's keeping it relevant. It's keeping right. myself present. It's keeping myself in the conversation so that it's top of mind. And sometimes, and I love to hear things from different perspectives because it's like, oh, okay, I, I, didn't, I didn't look at it that way, right? Yeah. So it is for everybody. All right, that's great. Um, sorry guys for running over on this one, um, but you know, when there's so much information and good stuff, it's like sometimes this happens. So thank you everybody for joining. Um, again, go to Eventbrite or go to Blacks Inspire and see the link join get ready for our next webinar october 4th 8 p.m have a good night everybody have a good night thanks for joining us guys Take care.